Mostly Meghan Markle wore unique dresses, but there was something else very interesting about it. She always wore dresses like Princess of Wales, or perhaps that was just a coincidence. This first outfit is a throwback to the past. While pregnant Diana, the Princess of Wales, wore something and Meghan wore something remarkably similar. The fabric is the same, the color is the same, but the accents are a little bit different because in the original, the accents are dark green while in Meghan's they are black. Meghan is wearing an interim outfit and honestly, I mean either of them would look good on her, but you have to give her a chance since she likes coping and she doesn't have a great sense of style. Diana's outfit was very elegant and classic, while Megan's is a tad more modern. Even though Megan has copied Diana, she still has her own sense of style that she can bring to the outfit. This dress is fine, but it's just kind of ridiculous for a pregnant woman, especially for one we have not seen before. I mean, it's fine, but this coat dress is just a little silly for a pregnant woman. It seems ridiculous to have this super nice costume made maternity dress, but Megan made it look gorgeous. It's hard to get a full look at Diana's coat dress, but I do think that she looks lovely there. It's hard for me to pick a winner. Ultimately, it's up to the people to decide which look they prefer. Both Megan and Diana look beautiful and each brings something unique to the table. Ultimately, it's a matter of personal taste. Next, we have Megan and Catherine wearing similar suits from Alexander McQueen at the Invictus Games. Megan's soup suits are supposed to slim, but this one just adds 20 pounds to her. It's just the way the suit hits her and how boxy it looks. Megan Markle does nothing with this suit. It adds 20 pounds to her and it's awful. I don't know how she thought it would look good. Despite the fact that Catherine is very slim, her look is very professional and effortless, but you don't want any outfit to add 20 pounds to your weight and in Megan's case, the suit hits the widest part of her body, emphasizing it and clinging to it. When you walked out of the hotel, you were like you know, you got a big swagger and I was just looking at you going that suit makes you look fat. She's still carrying some baby weight because she's still trying to lose it, but it literally adds 20 pounds to her. And I mean, fashion is supposed to help you slim down, not to add pounds to you. And this suit definitely added 20 pounds to Megan, so she should have thrown that thing out. She should have gone for something else, something that would have highlighted her best features and help her look slimmer. Instead, she ended up looking heavier and more frumpy than she already did. It was a fashion disaster. I am going to compare Catherine in her asymmetrical red suit against Megan in her red outfit she wore at the Young World Summit or whatever. While Megan's outfit does not have a blazer, it has a similar silhouette in that it's all red. It's kind of a suit pant with a blouse. In the first place, I thought where had the asymmetrical lead Alexander McQueen suit come from for Catherine her entire royal career. It looks awesome, it's fabulous, it looks smashing on her and as she wore it to the coronation concert, I think Catherine looked awesome in that suit and I love the color. I mean, red doesn't look terrible on Megan in this outfit, but what's with the weird scarf thing that comes down on her knees? It's stylish and I don't think it adds any shape to her. What Megan really struggles with is that she is not physically fit. She has a boxy midsection and doesn't have a waist, so she has a hard time making a waist. In fact, I think she almost always emphasizes that overly much by wearing outfits that emphasize just how wide her waist is and how she really doesn't have any of that. The hourglass shape typically means that your hips and bust line are about the same width, but your waist is really tiny. I don't really think Megan has a tiny waist. Basically, from her shoulders to her hips, it's a straight line. Her legs are really long and really thin, and so they just look like strings. Honestly, I admit it's tough to dress her, but I thought she did a better job before she became a royal. So I don't think this suit did her any good here. 
The next outfit we'll look at is Catherine and Megan, and I don't know who is designer, but we also have another of Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and a temporary London outfit. I think Jenny Packham could be between the two dresses. I don't like either dress on Catherine. The temporary London one is similar to Megan's, but I don't think it's the best. It does not seem to fit well, but it looks good anyway. I like the red accent for Catherine there, along with the clutch. I don't know who made Megan's dress, but it fits her terribly like the best area on it is strange. And the stomach area looks like in the waist. It looks way, way too tight. It doesn't look great at all. So in this sense, this is definitely 100. I have to give it to Catherine, obviously. This could be something where Megan had very little options. Here, not blaming her, but the construction of this dress just looks overall very, very poor, and it just does not seem to fit Megan well at all. Next up, I am going to choose Catherine in a print dress and Megan in a red dress that is a bit similar. I like both of these dresses, but I have to give Megan some credit here, as it was one of the times she actually looked good. I think it's not really well styled, but at least it looks good, and Catherine's dress I love a lot, but I also think it highlights her shoulders in a straight way. That's always been my thought about the red dress because I always loved Catherine in it. As far as I am concerned, I loved it and I think it's great. But I would like to add slight edge to it. I tried to find the designer, but I don't know who designed Megan's dress. I thought I should give her something like one thing like I thought. Well, you did a little better here, but it ended up being a bridey. This is an interesting comparison as well. Catherine is on tour in Canada and Megan is participating in her first Christmas with the Royals. And this is a centaur coat made in Canada and I don't have a problem with the coat itself. The coats are fine and it's how they are tied together. Megan always looks so stinking sloopy when she's a Royal because the tie here is just a mess. Not like a stylish mess for Megan, but just like she tied it. I always like, oh, these little tails are too long, let me tuck them back into my coat, which gave it a messy look and made him struggle with it on pretty much every occasion. That look just did not work for her, and then you compare it to Catherine Witterance, and she just has a simple tie, and it looks so much more elegant and simple, so it's possible she had a safety pin in there to keep it from coming off. I think it looks so much better than Megan trying to do some fancy tie thing, which just made her look sloopy. I think if you're not careful with the wrap coat, it can look sloopy, and that was something Megan really struggled with. Next, let's compare Megan's blue wrap dress. It was a sapphire blue dress she wore at an event in Toronto in 2016. Megan was really, Megan was really yucking it up for the camera, trying to strike a sexy pose. Catherine knocked it out of the park when it came to her engagement dress. That was the perfect color, a gray dress. You probably won't look good in that dress if you're skinny like Catherine, because I've tried it on and it's not, but Catherine looks smashing in it. So there is not much comparison, although Megan is very different. Since it does not have sleeves, I thought I would do a little comparison here, but I think when it comes to wrap dresses, Catherine has the upper hand. Here is my final comparison because I think of Megan and I am wondering what you were thinking since your sister-in-law just wore this dress and looked unbelievably smashing in it and her behind caught the world on fire. The dress that Catherine wore was the Maryland Moret and it fit her like a glove at a certain angle. It also showed some pictures where she did not look so great because it emphasized how much she works out and her arm muscles appeared strange. However, Catherine is fierce from behind. Oh my gosh, that bum is unbelievable. She looks absolutely gorgeous in it. There are very few women who can pull off a dress like that. Megan wears a very similar jumpsuit, but she was trying to be super coy about it. I didn't give Megan any wins here except for sort of one. Let me know if I am wrong. Who did you think wore it better? We'll do more of these comparison on outfits. Do let me know what do you think and I'll see you soon.